every once in a while we get a new device that just kind of does everything, which makes the video, the conversation about it a little bit different because rather than talk about what it does, which is everything, we need to discuss, does it actually solve a problem or is this just a company throwing everything into a device trying to make everyone happy? So this is the OBSBOT talent. It's an encoder, a switcher, a recording device, a monitor, a webcam controller, a multi-input capture card, and if we're being real technical here, it's also a really powerful and compact streaming PC. But does it solve any problems? Is it useful? So two things. First, we're doing a giveaway on an OBSBOT Tiny2 Lite. This is a motorized PTZ webcam that we recently did a video on. I'll link to that down below. All you have to do is leave a comment down below that says Harris is and then whatever you want to put, whatever word you want to put after that. I'll be picking my favorite one and I will be reaching out to you. I will not ask for your WeChat or your Telegram. I will be responding to my favorite comment and asking for your Instagram or your Twitter and I'll DM you there. The response will be from the Senpai Gaming YouTube channel with a check mark next to it. And these are my Twitter and Instagram handles. If anything here does not line up, it's a scammer, please. Do not humor them and don't send anyone money. I will be paying for the shipping, which is why this is gonna be US only. Okay, that's important. No one's getting scammed here today. I'll be reaching out in a week with the winner. Second thing, this is a sponsored video. This is not gonna be a full review. I'm gonna try to keep my thoughts very objective and unbiased here. Consider this video just me sharing with you a device that otherwise you might not have known existed. Cool. Let's take a look at this piece of machinery. Let's plug it in and power it on. First thing, we have a five and a half inch AMOLED 1080p screen, which is genuinely surprisingly crisp and vibrant for a little device like this. Lots of times they kind of cheap out on the screens here. I mean, this is full HD and it's AMOLED and it looks great. And then all around the sides here, it's just full of ports. So we got two HDMI inputs for you to connect cameras to. We've got two USB A's for you to connect webcams or flash drives or USB microphones to. We've got two audio jacks here, an input for microphone or line in, output for headphones. We got gigabit ethernet, an SD card slot for recording, which it also has 64 gigs of internal storage and a USB-C output. And then on the back here, we got two slots for batteries like this to go into. If I can do it, there we go. With little LEDs for battery indicators, or it also comes with these little stands if you wanna plug it in and set it on your desk like this instead. And the idea here is that with this device, you can broadcast just about anything. So if you stream from home, you can plug in multiple cameras and have a professional multi-angle stream. If you go out and broadcast events like weddings or churches, you can plug in multiple PTZ cameras like the uh, OBSBOT Tail Air and you can stream and record those right on this thing. Or if you're just going somewhere for a couple days and you wanna be able to stream from wherever, you can throw this in your backpack, bring your camera or webcam, plug it in and go live in just a few minutes. And then when you're not using it to stream, you can use it as a separate monitor for your camera. You can plug it into your PC to use it as a multi-input capture card or use it to record a camera like this that's kind of out of reach and just record directly on here instead of having to get up on a stool for something like that. It does a lot with a surprisingly little amount of setup. Like if I get started here, you can see down at the bottom, I've got my scenes that are mostly my inputs, but I also have a picture right here that it comes with by default. And so if I plug in a camera here, into HDMI one, look at this. That was actually really fast. <laughs> that would take a second. And so now I can jump between the original picture and my HDMI input. And then we take one of OBSBOT's PTZ cameras. Let's plug it in here. And there it is. And we got the webcam going into it too. And what's really cool is because it's a PTZ camera, I can just hit the little PTZ button and I can control it right from the talent, which especially if you're running multiple PTZ cameras on some kind of broadcast, that's really useful. And with the OBSBOT Tail Air, you can connect over NDI, so you can control these things from anywhere over the network. And you can go in and edit these scenes. So I can tap on the HDMI one, hit edit, and I can even add another camera in there. Like I can add the webcam into it. Let's move this one over. You can plug in a flash drive and bring in images and alerts or whatever you need. I do think the best way you're gonna be able to set up and overlay those if you use a service like Owned Pro where you can set up all your overlays and alerts on a single browser source and then you can add a browser source directly into here. So you've already pre-designed everything on your computer. 
then just toss the browser source URL right in the OBSBOT talent here. Let's hit save. There we go. What a great stream. There are a lot of settings. It's honestly a little bit overwhelming, but you can do things like set up the streaming platform that you wanna to stream to just by logging in with your credentials. You can go into the encoder settings and you can change your resolution or your bitrate. They even included an entire mixer in here where every different input is another channel. So you have complete control making it sound really good. And that even includes, by the way, a Bluetooth input if you wanna use a Bluetooth microphone with this. And one important thing that I almost missed was that you can also set this up as a vertical streaming unit if you wanna use it to stream to TikTok or YouTube vertical or soon to be Twitch vertical. So a lot of power in a fairly small, simple device, but usually a device like this, an all-in-one device, has one of two caveats. Typically, the caveat is when a device does everything, it doesn't do anything very well, right? This is in order to keep costs down. They kind of just put meh of everything in there. That's not this one. The OBSBOT talent has the other issue, which is because it does everything so well, it ends up making the price 1099, which brings up an important question. And it's not a question about, is this device worth the price? Like if you combine an OLED screen with multiple capture cards with a streaming PC and everything else that's in here, if you were to buy those all separate, it would cost two to three times the amount. The question becomes, what would you use the device for? And is that worth the money? Like for example, if you're just looking for an external monitor that you can plug your camera into and then record footage externally, now you can get these things like that for half the price. But if you're looking for a smaller, more portable streaming PC, you wanna get this instead of building a whole streaming PC that has multiple camera inputs and you can take it on the go, then you're probably saving half the cost of a PC by going with this instead. Or for me, what interests me most in a device like this is instead of using a giant streaming backpack that I used at last TwitchCon, which you know is a couple grand, three, four thousand dollars, I think, uh, bringing something like this, hooking it to my belt and having one camera pointing forward and one camera pointing at me and plugging in uh, some kind of USB modem into this, which is another thing you can do in the USB ports. What do you think? It's quite the setup you got there. I, I feel like when I shot the video, I didn't like, I was like, oh, it could be an IRL stream thing. I think I've made the ultimate IRL streaming setup here. Yeah. It's a bit intense, but like, this is what I'll be wearing at TwitchCon, at least one day. A little teaser. And like, if I can just brag for a second, the little gimbal camera, it acts as a stabilizer. So like, you're moving around, it's super smooth. I think I just reinvented IRL streaming. I got both hands, a stick. How are you doing? How are you doing? This does seem like it would be the ultimate IRL streaming device, and I, I do actually want to try that out <laughs> in the, in San Diego. I feel like these kind of power device products rarely hit the masses in terms of like adoption and popularity, but for those select few people who need it, this ends up being a game changer and ends up being cheaper and more convenient and more powerful than the alternative, which is why I was pumped to talk about it on the channel. But I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Can you think of a situation where this would actually really come in handy, even if it's out of your budget? What are your thoughts? Or is this a completely useless device? I'd love to hear it either way and hit the comment button while you're down there. And as always, happy streaming. Oh, and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Yeah, that. Okay, that's all.